Let's take a live look outside from the Sunseeker Resort. Sun coming up here. Also, look at the horizon. You see this very, very thin layer of fog that looks like. Uh, took you a look at visibility. We're still about nine miles there in uh, Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, but it's something I'm going to be monitoring here if we do get a little bit of fog uh, developing around that area. As for temperatures, uh, we are looking at uh, mid 70s to upper 70s as we start our day here. And as we move through the next couple hours, do expect about 80 degrees there by 9 o'clock and then into the upper 80s by noontime as we continue to rise uh, here into about the uh, lower 90s uh, across the board here. But when you add in humidity, we're all going to be feeling like, say, close to 100 degrees. So still a toasty one out there this afternoon. And speaking of this afternoon, let's time out the day for you here. Here's noontime. Still looking at mostly sunny skies, but as you get into towards, say, about 2, 3 o'clock, that's when we'll start to see those showers and storms firing up and pushing back towards the coastline with some pretty decent storm coverage uh, just in time for the evening commute at 5 o'clock, and then they'll push offshore and start to fizzle out by about 9 o'clock here. But uh, again, watching showers and storms early on this evening for us, and then otherwise partly cloudy skies, 76 degrees for us. And as we look ahead towards your weekend, more of the same expected on your Saturday. Sunshine in the morning, afternoon showers and storms into the early evening hours. But Sunday, start to see this influx of moisture pushing on in, and that's with the increased cloud cover, uh, dropping temperatures into the mid 80s there on Sunday. So what's going on here? We got uh, a couple different disturbances. Leslie, Kirk, Hurricane and Tropical Storm, they're pushing out to sea. We're watching this guy uh, right here, and that's what's going to bring in that potential development here. Uh, so 40% chance from the Hurricane Center. We'll get a new update at 8 o'clock, uh, but we do expect an area of low pressure to form there this weekend. So we could see some tropical development from this if it separates itself from a frontal boundary, which is going to start the rainfall on Sunday. But either way, you figure it, this is going to be heavy rain for Southwest Florida, uh, but it's all because of this portion of moisture. We've had to drop the pressure 11 in the Pacific. That is now that moisture crossing into the Bay of Campeche with just regular moisture that's been there with the, uh, the CAG low. And we could see a new area of low pressure forming there in the Gulf and then pushing across. And our forecast models very consistent with that forming and then pushing towards Southwest Florida. Now, is that a name storm? Maybe. Is it a big, low pressure, messy system? Maybe that as well. We, it's still very much up in the air, but what we do know is there's going to be a lot of tropical moisture pushing our direction. That's that green color uh, for you, that moist air, and then pushing towards us over the next couple of days with that drier air sneaking in the backside there Wednesday into Thursday. So the end of the week actually looks rather drier. So very heavy rain chances for us as we get into the early portion of the week, 70, 80% chance of rain. Take a look at our European forecast model showing in between now and next Thursday, seven, eight, nine inches worth of rain and very similar there on the GFS American model. So uh, however you figure this, a lot of rain, significant amounts of rain is expected as we move into the early portion of next week. So let's show you that on the seven day forecast. Again, today, tomorrow, afternoon showers and storms. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday, heavy rain, thunderstorm activity. It's also going to bring those temperatures down uh, with an additional cloud cover, and then we'll start to dry things back out as we get in towards Thursday next week.